By uprisings in other Arab countries, especially neighboring Egypt and Tunisia, violent protests broke out in Benghazi and spread to other cities. This led to escalating clashes between security forces and anti-Qaddafi rebels. Now, seven months later, Qaddafi was captured and killed as rebel fighters took his hometown of Sirte. Three days later, the National Transitional Council declared Libya officially liberated and announced plans to hold elections within eight months. Now, after Qaddafi's death and the National Transitional Council's failure to hold free and fair elections, the country spiraled into chaos. Rival groups, including Daesh, tried to rise to power, pushing the country into a bloody civil war for six years. In April last year, warlord Khalifa Haftar's illegal militia began its attack on the capital, Tripoli. It aimed to capture the city from the internationally recognized government of national accord, but failed to achieve that goal. Last month, a ceasefire was announced, but whether that ceasefire holds remains to be seen.